Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your energy update. So for those of you guys who are on a twin flame journey, this certainly could hit home for you. This certainly could resonate. And if it does, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you on my Twin Flame channel, on the Twin Flame journey, right? So let's jump right in. I have some tarot. I have some oracle cards for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to start off today with the modern day tarot. This is one of my decks. Um, that it is available on my Etsy shop right now. It has a very modern look, everyday, um, real life look. So real people, real things, right? Real situations. So that's why I designed this deck. So it's available if you guys are interested. So let's jump right in. Let's get some messages out for you. Twins, if you want a personal love reading, I'm available. You can request a personal reading on my website or on my Etsy shop, okay? I also have this deck on my Etsy shop. All right, let's jump right in. Let's see what is going on with my twins out there. Clear messages. What's happening with their twin? What's going on? What is in the energy between the twins out there? All right. So we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. So there's something about memories here. Your person is thinking about the past, sweet thoughts, um, fond memories, experiences with you. So this is someone who's in that dreamy state, right? You know, you're dreaming, you're thinking about each other, connecting in the 5D. It's like your person goes to sleep at night and you are definitely on their mind nonstop. They wake up, they're thinking about you. So there's something about the past that was very sweet, very nostalgic, Okay, and I'm getting your person hasn't moved away from this. They still think about you. And it's in a very good light. Okay, there's a lot of good, good memories here. Even if you guys are separated, even if things ended on a bad note, there were some good times that you guys shared here. We have the three of swords. So there was a lot of hurt. There was um, some kind of betrayal. Someone definitely got their feelings hurt here. I feel there could have been a situation where someone felt devastated. Could have been a third party involved here where someone's heart was definitely um, played with or toyed with. I feel like there definitely was an ending that, you know, someone here really, really was heartbroken. This could have been you. Um, I feel like your person also could be heartbroken about something they've done. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So in your person's energy is about a new beginning. Okay. It's about commitment. It's about something um, in the future, working toward this new opportunity, beginning for security, for stability. This is someone who's thinking about, you know, the next steps. In your life, family, commitment, settling down. So that's in the energy between you and your person. Queen of Wands, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. I'm getting the energy of you, your person viewing you as that Queen of Wands, okay? You, um, <laughs> you know, you're no nonsense, right? You don't take anything um, for granted. You move forward. You take action. You don't keep your life on hold for anyone. A lot of you guys, you're in that Queen of Wands energy where you um, are courageous, right? You go for it. You're very confident in who you are and what you want. We also have the temperance. So there's something about patience here, timing. Um, I'm getting that you and your person could be going with, the, going with the flow of something, just allowing something to just happen, not putting too much pressure on it. So that's that could be something that you guys are both learning how to do, right? Patience, surrendering, letting go, not forcing it, not pushing it down one direction, but knowing that if it's meant to be, it's going to happen, right? It, it's going to happen. And there's nothing that you can do about it. There's nothing that you can change. You can't speed it up. You just have to go with the process, okay? One last card we have, the emperor. I love it. So typically the emperor for me is that divine masculine energy. So we have two very strong energies, the divine feminine here with the queen of wands and the divine masculine with the emperor. What it's telling me is that, well, your emperor, it's here. <laughs> when, when we have the emperor, this is about someone who's ready to move forward, ready to take control, ready to be a leader, right? This is someone who may have been, um, I'm getting in this place of confusion. They didn't know what they wanted, right? The six of cups, they were, I'm getting fantasizing about maybe other people. It could be fantasizing or just, um, you know, living in la-la land, right? They know that they wanted you. They saw the Ace of Pentacles with you. But for some reason, they just got stuck in their in their head, their feelings. This is someone who may have just not been ready. I'm getting sleeping on a drop. But we do have the energy of the emperor wanting change, wanting movement, wanting to um, actually make moves forward and make good decisions, okay? So let's see what else we can get into um, regarding this reading. 
I'm going to use all right this deck. Okay, let's get some clarity. All right, clear messages for my twins out there. Okay, so right off the bat, we have the release card. Okay, we have healing chaos. We have taking risk. That's with the emperor card. We have standstill. We have action. Okay, and let's get one more. And we have the leadership. Okay, so. I'm definitely getting that emperor energy here, okay? We have taking risk here. We have action. We have leadership. You're definitely dealing with someone here who wants change. This is someone here who's kind of like, you know what? Um, I need to change my ways, right? What I've been doing in the past isn't working. It's not getting me to where I need to be because the emperor has, um, you know, expectations, right? He has desires for how he wants to live his life, where he sees himself going. He has um, goals, right? This is someone who actually wants to achieve good things, they want to be seen as respectable. They want to see be seen as someone who's accomplished. So I feel like there's the energy of your person wanting to take a risk, wanting to put themselves out there, wanting to jump into the unknown, right? The full energy. And this is someone who realizes that in order to get what they want, right, whether it be love, a loving relationship, commitment, they have to take a risk. And I feel like in the past, they were in the Six of Cups energy where, oh, you know, I, I love this person. I'm thinking about this person, but I don't want to take action. They slept on it, right? They slept on this opportunity here. So I feel like your person is now realizing that if I want something, right, <laughs> I got to put a ring on it, Ace of Pentacles. If I really, truly want it, I have to put myself out there. I have to jump into the unknown. I have to get out of my comfort zone. I can't stay where I am, stagnant, right? Because we also have someone here who is literally at a standstill. When it came time to take up an opportunity, when it came time to move forward, your person was at a standstill, okay? It could have been the energy of... um. I'm getting with that standstill energy. This is like hangman, okay? It's like kind of in suspension. Not really sure what to do, not taking action, but not really, you know, thinking about it. Doing some thinking. Thinking, you know, turning their head a little bit, trying to assess the situation, looking at things from different perspectives and points of views. But I feel like it came a point in time where action was needed. And I feel like you guys being that Queen of Wands, action oriented, you guys are like chup chup. Let's do this. What are we? What What are we doing here? I'm not waiting forever. And that Queen of Wands, you know, she's not going to wait on anybody. She's not going to just wait around for something to just fall at her her foot. Okay. And I feel that it came a point in time where a lot of you guys, you felt you were being patient enough. The Temperance is here. It could be done with the Sagittarius. You felt you were being patient enough, but it got into a point where nothing was happening. Your person wasn't offering anything. They were being too, I'm getting, they were procrastinating. They decided to just kind of maybe date other people and then come back to you. And it was like the door was always open for them and they were too comfortable. You're dealing with someone who was too comfortable. So as a result, nothing happened. Nothing moved forward. And now your person's like, okay, well, now I have to put my big boy, big boy pants on, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. I have put my tie on. And now I have to be this person that I strive to be, okay? So we have, we have a very strong connection. We have definitely... Um, a lot of passion between you guys. There's definitely a desire for your person to lead, okay? We have the leadership energy. This is someone who doesn't want to just um, throw you crumbs anymore. They don't want to just like, um, you know, they don't want to play around. This is someone who's actually wanting to step up to the plate. I want to lead. I want to uh, make better decisions. I want to lead you in the right direction. I want you to have faith in me. I want you to trust me that I'm going to do right by you. So this is someone who actually wants to change the way you look at them, the way Way you perceive them they want to change the way they show up in this connection so this emperor is ready to be to be a leader not a follower anymore not following what their friends are doing what their friends are not doing right hanging out on the block getting involved in in silly dumb stuff you know playing around partying all the time no this is someone who's ready I'm ready. I'm going full force now. So there's action. There's leadership. There's taking risks, putting themselves out there. What I'm also seeing is that we have healing chaos and the release card. So there could have been a situation where there could have been a tower moment. There could have been a lot of confusion, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. Um, I'm getting just, there was a lot of fighting here. Um, with this 
tornado i'm just getting something here was very um destructive now this could have been related to the three of swords right there could have been someone here for some of you guys a past person that was lingering in this connection someone may have left the door open and allowed a past person and ex to come in and that could have caused a betrayal the six of cups and three of swords to me is definitely someone from the past that may have appeared that may have caused a real a, a betrayal or a division between you and your person and that may have caused chaos now, what I'm seeing is that your person wants to release this chaos. They want to drop it. They want to overcome it. They're wanting to recover from it. Releasing and healing chaos, right? This is someone who wants to move away from it. There's a change in season here. So with these two cards, it's telling me that some of you guys, your person may want to release and let go of a person, okay, in their life. Release um, their desire to control the situation. Release some kind of toxic tie they have to something. They could be releasing their insecurities, releasing their commitment issues, releasing something that isn't serving them in order to heal a situation with you. Because this telling me that there's a lot of uncertainty with this chaos card. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lack of direction. And what they want is they want direction, the emperor is someone who wants direction. They, they want to have come up with a plan of action to be a leader, to move things forward, okay? So that is the energy I'm seeing here, y'all. Let's get some more cards here from my oracle. All right, any other messages for my twin flames out there? Any other messages for my twin flames out there? Okay, so we have, ooh, broken heart. This is like the three of swords, broken heart. We have strategy, no kidding. We have um, all tied up. We have walking away. We have happy family and we have one more indecision. Okay, so there's a broken heart, right? Someone got the someone got hurt here for sure. Three swords coming out, the, the broken heart. So this is what you guys are still healing from. There's still healing that has to take place is what it's telling me. In order for you guys to move past this place of um, chaos, of drama, of the standstill, right? Where you guys are just not talking, there's no movement. Um, it's telling me you guys are going to have to heal this. Someone has to heal from this broken heart. Okay, so that could be something you guys are actively going through. Now, we have the energy of walking away. Some of you guys, you had to walk away. Eight of Cups. You had to walk away. Because that Queen of Wands, she's like, mm -mm, no, no, buddy. I'm not going to allow you to do whatever you want. No, no, no. It's my way or the highway. Some of you guys, you had to set boundaries with this person. You had to walk away to let them know, I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm not going to tolerate this behavior. I'm not going to allow you to use me, take advantage of me. And you had to walk away. You had to let this person go and figure out, what they wanted. Now, I do feel there is a situation here where you and your person um, could have had everything. Happy family. Four wands energy. Happy family. Ace of Pentacles. Commitment. You guys could have, you know, built a beautiful home with each other. You know, had children. This is what you guys were planning. I'm getting in the back of each other's heads. Even if you never voiced this to your person. There was an idea that you guys were going to live happily, hap happily, happily ever after, right? Family coming together. Rainbow, sunshine, right? So this is definitely Ace of Pentacles with a happy family. I mean, you, what more can you want? There's love. There's stability, right? But I also feel like this is someone at the time, they were all tied up. There was some indecision. Right. And I'm getting when they when you get all tied up, this could be many different things. This is someone who could have been tied up in their head. Right. Anxiety, worries, stress, overthinking. OK. Overthinking to, to the point where they can't even make a decision about you. I'm getting all tied up. They may have made other people priority where they were tied up. They were not available to you. OK. When it came time to dealing with you, to to spending time with you. Right. They were all tied up. They would act like they were too busy. Oh, I'm, I'm too busy. I'm all tied up today. Oh, I can't do it this week and I'm all tied up. You know, and some of you guys, the all tied up can just literally be a mental thing. All in their head. Anxieties. Stress. Self-limiting thoughts, beliefs. Oh, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. Whatever it may be. And that may have caused this person to be in this place of indecision. Some of you guys that were indecisive about you, they didn't know if they wanted you or someone else. We have the eight again, okay? So the eight of swords, I'm getting, this is someone who's definitely overthinking something. They didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know if they wanted you, someone else. There was two opportunities, two people, to pass. okay? But we also have the energy of strategizing, strategy. So now what's happening is that things are stuck. Things are in a standstill, but now they know action is needed. But before they take action, 
They need to strategize, right? There's the energy of strategizing. What do I need to do? Because the emperor doesn't just go mindlessly in something, right? He's not a fool. <laughs> He's not the fool of, of the tarot, right? He doesn't just jump into things and say, okay, well, let me just see what happens here. No, he makes, he comes up with a plan. He comes up with a strategy, a game plan, and he puts it into practice. He knows it's going to lead him down a victory, a success, you know? And so I think that this is someone who's now strategizing, trying to figure out, well, what do I do? How do I accomplish this, right? Because I want to win. I have my eye on the prize. The Ace of Pentacles is here, okay? So that is what I'm seeing here. I love it. I love it. Very strong divine masculine energy for this reading today. So let me see what else we can figure out. I have um, the Epiphany deck. This is one of my other um, little small decks on my Etsy shop. That, If you're interested, it's available to you, okay? All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about my twins out there? Okay, future, planning, planning for the future. Your person is thinking about the next steps. They're thinking about the future. That's what the emperor does. Not just living in the moment, not just living for today. Now they're thinking about what's next. What does my future look like? Okay, they're thinking about marriage, they're thinking about home, they're thinking about money, they're thinking about traveling with you, living life with you, right? This is someone who wants a future with you. We also have change is going to come. So the change is the eight of wands and tarot. We have action, right? Action card, we have change is going to come. Your person wants change. And they know that in order to get the change, they need to take action. So there's the energy of your person wanting to rise above. These challenges, the, the chaos, the brokenheartedness, right? And move forward. Get out of this place of indecision. Have a strategy and move forward to bring change to this relationship. We have, it's just so complicated. So there are some, uh, there's the energy of them feeling tied up, right? It's just too difficult. I can't do it. Um, it's just, it's too difficult, right? It's just, I don't know what to say. I, I just can't do it. So there is the energy of your person, um, you know, trying to figure out, what the best way is to get out of this uh, complicated situation that they've made. Because I'm getting that there's been maybe no no communication, right? Maybe they don't know how to talk to you. Maybe they don't know how to reach out to you. Maybe the lines of communication are broken. Maybe you guys block them. It's too complicated. Maybe you made them feel as if they weren't good enough, right? They, they're not courageous enough. They feel embarrassed. It's just too complicated. So they could be making up every excuse in a book. We have observing every action. So we have the page of swords energy here. They're watching you. And the reason why they're watching you, I'm getting not stockish energy, but I'm getting they're watching you because they're trying to figure out, well, I want change, right? I want to come toward my twin. But as the emperor, he needs to strategize. He needs to know what he's working with. He needs to know what he potentially can come into contact with, okay? Maybe he has to have a plan B. So your person is watching you. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to get into your head. Um, where do you stand with them? Maybe how do you feel? Have you moved on? Are you dating other people? All right, we have the ready to release the love block. Wow, so we had the release card. Now we know what this release is about. So a lot of you guys, the release is wanting to open up their heart chakra, wanting to open up their heart chakra to you because this is someone who may have blocked themselves from loving you. There could have been a blockage here where they, again, got some all tied up energy. They were not available to love. They were emotionally unavailable. They were cold. They were resistant. They weren't ready. So we have the energy of wanting to release this love block. Whatever this block was, it, it prevented them from loving you and opening up. And that is why they hurt you. That's why this ended in a broken heart because someone here walked away. Someone walked away because someone, was, someone had a love block on them. Someone was blocked from loving or wasn't able to give and receive the love that the other person needed, right? So we have the energy of now wanting to change that. All right. So my twins, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, my modern day tarot is on Etsy for you guys who are interested in purchasing. And um, I won't be extending this over to Vimeo today. I figured I'd just come in and get the energy and see what is going on. And I hope you guys appreciate it. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. You know I also have a main channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings for all the zodiacs. So be sure to check out your twin zodiac sign too, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you're interested for more messages, okay? So my twins, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll check you guys out later. Bye.